Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Priscilla. I hope you're having a great day and doing well. So in this video, I'm going to be doing some things before I do the post installation configurations for SCCM. Uh, specifically, what I'm going to be doing is uh, adding the Windows 10 machine that I had created in VirtualBox onto our domain. So I'm going to do the IP configurations for that. Um, and then I'm also going to create a um, local admins group uh, in Active Directory. And I'm going to create a group policy to make the users in that group uh, local admins for all the machines on our network. Uh, and we're going to need this for some things that we're going to do in uh, SCCM. So uh, it's going to be pretty cool. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. But uh, all right, let's get to it. Thanks. All right, so I'm going to uh, start this Windows 10 machine that I had created, uh, but I haven't really done anything with it. So I'm going to go ahead and use the... Um, I guess the IP scheme that I had mentioned for my lab setup. So I'm going to give this an IP address of 192.168.1.4 um, with the subnet mask of 255.255.255 .255 um, so that we could connect it to our network and then add it to our domain. So let me just go ahead and start that up. All right, so now we're all logged into the machine. So what I'm going to do is change the IP configurations for this one. So I'm going to go here, uh, network and internet settings, close out of that. <laughs> um, under ethernet, I'm going to choose change adapter options. Um, and then I already changed the name to private on here uh, just to stay consistent with everything else that I have. But uh, I'm going to right click, select properties. Uh, I Internet Protocol version 4, Properties. Then I'm going to change the IP to 192.168.1.4. That subnet mask. Then our default gateway is going to be our DHCP server, which is 192.168.1.1. And then our DNS is going to be our domain controller slash DNS server. So 192.168.1.2. All right, so that's all good to go. I'm going to go ahead and click OK, close out of there. And it's going to identify it, and it should connect to our network um, if that worked out. So sweet, it connected to our network. So we're all good to go. That's awesome. And now I'm going to go to, uh, where am I going to go? So I'm going to right click here, select system. Uh, this is just how I remember to get to things. You can always find them a lot. There's a lot of different ways to get to these things, I guess, but this is just how I remember. But anyways, um, you go to system, go to about, rename this PC, advanced. Uh, my description is just going to be test PC. And then I'm going to select here under change, change the computer name to test PC. Then I'm going to select domain. And I'll come. Let's see if that works. Cool. So I'm just going to select administrator. And then I'm going to enter that password. Select OK. And sweet. We are now on the pleon.com domain. That is so awesome. I always love when it works because sometimes when it doesn't work, you just have to, it's just more work. But it worked out this time. So that's awesome. Couldn't select OK. I restart now. All right, so do other user. Now we could sign in. Now um, we could sign into our domain and I'm gonna sign into administrator. So I'll do Leon slash, is it this one slash, wait, administrator. And then I'll do, oops. And now we are officially in our domain. Our computer is on our domain. Another way to verify this is if we go to our domain server. Um, and if we go under tools, active directory users and computers, under computers, you'll see the test PC on here. So we added that successfully. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is uh, create a local admins group. 
so that I can create a group policy that will allow us to um, make the users in that group local admins for all the machines on our network. So I'm just going to do this here. Usually you can structure this in an OU, but because this is kind of this is a small network, my testing environment, I'm going to keep it pretty simple for now. Um, so I'm just going to do create the group here. So I'm going to right click under users, put new group, and then my group name is going to be Leon local admins. Leave it under global and security is good. And then I'm going to just double click members. I'm going to add my SCCM one. And then I'll also add, um, I'll just add my administrator one. Oh, wait, let me do this one more time. I'll just do administrator and then I'm going to put OK. So now these are the users that I'm going to want to be um, local admins for our machine. And then I'm going to select apply. Cause I don't I'm not going to change anything else here. Nope, that's all good. Okay. And then put okay. And then I'm going to go to tools group policy management. And under our domain group policy objects, I'm going to right click and select new. And then this one is going to be um Pleon local admins. So I'll select OK, and then I'm going to right click and select Edit. And now in this window, I'm going to go under Policies, Window Settings, is it Security Settings? Okay, Security Settings, Restricted Groups. So I'm going to right click this and I'm going to select Add Group. Yeah, Add Group. Then I'm going to browse and then I'll select the one that I made. Cleon local admins. I'm going to put OK. And I'm going to add this to the administrators group. Oops, sorry. Cool. Ooh, remove this part. OK. Apply. OK. And then I'm going to close out of here. And I'm going to right click this, select link an existing GPO, select that one, and put OK. So that one's there. Um, OK, it looks like it has that one. It's built in administrators for my group. And now what I'm going to do is. I'm going to go, let me try this out on my Windows 10 machine to see if it worked. So I'm going to go to command prompt, run as administrator, gp update slash force. And this is going to force the group policy that we just um, created. So that should update if it works. Cool. So that updated. And now what I'm going to do is go to computer management and wait for that to open. Okay. And then I'm going to go under here, groups, administrators, and there it is. So this is verifying that the group that we created um, for our local admins did um, did work, it, it pushed out two of the machines on our network. So that means that um, the users in this local, in this uh, security group are now local admins for all the machines on our network. So um, I can also check this on my server. So let's see if I check this on my SCCM server, for example. So if I go to command, 
Oh, not on my machine. Uh, command. And then I just do GP update slash force. Just gonna wait for that one, which should be done quickly. Cool, that's done. Then I'm gonna go to computer management again, just to verify. Under local users, groups, administrators, and that's on there as well. So that worked out, cool. All right, yeah, so we're all good. We created our Windows um, 10 machine, or we updated the IP configurations. We added it to our network. We added it onto our domain. Um, we have it now in act showing up in Active Directory. We created the local, um, the security group for our local admins. And um, that allowed us to make the users in that group, local administrators for all the machines on our network. So we're done with this part of the video. In our next video, I'm actually gonna do the uh, post installation configurations for SCCM. So um, that's gonna be really cool. Uh, please stay tuned for that one. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any comments or any suggestions or questions or anything, feel free to drop them in the comments. I uh, always appreciate those. Uh, also, uh, please feel free to subscribe or like the video. Um, I thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Uh, all right, have a good one, bye. Thank <laughs> you.